From an island on the Delaware River to a conference of 15,000 arrowmen, from a single cheerful spark grew an everlasting fire. A century of service celebrated at the 2015 National Order of the Arrow Conference. Tradition, service, adventure, a gathering of the brotherhood of cheerful service. From the campus of Michigan State University, this is the NOAC Nightly News with Kevin Montana. Good evening, welcome to NOAC Nightly News. I'm Kevin Montano. For the next week, we will bring you the latest updates, behind the scenes looks, and exclusive interviews, giving you the look into the National Order of the Arrow Conference. Over the last 100 hours, close to 15,000 staff and arrowmen have arrived on the East Lansing campus. Take a look. looking forward to the shows. I hear they're really cool, so I'm really looking forward to them. We stopped by uh, Cedar Point in Ohio yesterday for a fun day in the music park with so many roller coasters. Screamed a whole lot. Hi, my name is Ryan Smurz. I'm from Houston, Texas. The thing I found most exciting about driving here is seeing all the trains and train yards that we passed. Hi, my name is Glenn. And my name's Kevin. And I'm most excited for the shows here. And I'm most excited to meet new people. Each one searching for the perfect souvenir from the Centennial Conference. In addition to conference memorabilia, airmen have the opportunity to support the Order of the Arrow Legacy Endowment. The trading post will be open daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in Brody Hall. Conference attendees are encouraged to skip the line by pre-ordering their merchandise online at tradingpost.oa-bsa.org. To observe and preserve the customs and traditions of the Order of the Arrow, these words help to explain why the OA Endowment was created more than 30 years ago and reminds us of our personal obligation to support it. Since its humble beginnings three decades ago, the OA Endowment has grown to become the primary funding source for the OA's programs that have the greatest impact, including OA High Adventure, the Josh Sane Memorial Scholarships, Lodge Service Grants, the Kids to Camp Partnership, National Leadership Seminar, and more. We hear the success stories of the impact these programs have on the lives of young men every day. We see it in their growth as leaders today and in the future. Every donor feels a sense of great satisfaction knowing that all of the investments they will make through their lifetime, the return on an investment in the OA Endowment Fund will be among their greatest. The endowment has also helped lodges return service back to their councils through the OA's service grant. Since its creation 16 years ago, the service grant has provided nearly $700,000 in matching grants to lodges who have planned and executed projects at their council's camps. The endowment has also sent countless kids to camp through the Maury Clancy Campership Fund, which was created in 1971 and ensures American Indian Scouts can attend summer camp. Leaving a Legacy we hear these words often in our Order of the Arrow programs, and making an investment in the National OA Endowment is one way you can do just that. I'm Ed Pease. I was National Chairman of the Order of the Arrow from 1993 to 2000, and I'm a donor to the Order of the Arrow Endowment. The reason that I gave to the Endowment and continue to give to the Endowment is because of the tremendous impact that scouting has had in my life and the, and the tremendous uh, opportunities that the Order of the Arrow has provided to me, both as a young person and as an adult. And I know 
that those things are possible because somebody before me made sure that there was a program there and it had the resources that it needed to provide program for kids my age and I feel now that I'm an adult, I have a responsibility to make sure that the future is taken care of for the next generation. Making an investment in our youth through the National OA Endowment has never been easier. There are many ways to give. Your gift of $1,000 earns you the distinction of being a legacy fellow. And a gift of $10,000 or more enrolls you as a member of this prestigious Goodman Society. To learn more, visit www.endowment.oa-bsa.org or call the National OA office at 972-580-2440. Welcome back. You're watching NOAC Nightly News. I'm here with uh, Chief Scout Executive Wayne Brock. Uh, Wayne, thank you for joining us. Tell us, how does it feel to be at the Centennial Conference of the Order of the Arrow? Oh, it just feels absolutely wonderful. As I was thinking today, I've been in the Order of the Arrow over half of this time, 53 years. And I remember the 75th year anniversary. That's a lot of experiences <laughs> had in the Order of the Arrow. What, what can you tell us about your experiences in the OA? What has resonated with you the most over these last uh, 50 years you've been involved? Well, of course, as a youth member, the great experience that I had as a chapter chief, a lodge vice chief, and then as a scout executive of the local council, all the great service that the lodges did for the councils that I, that I worked in. And of course, I'll remember the more recent things like Air Corps 5 in 2008 and the Summit Corps in 2011, the Jamboree. I could go on and on and on, the Ab great things that the Order absolutely. of the Arrow does. The, the Order of the Arrow has, has so many wonderful experiences we had. Uh, how do you think uh, is going to be our focus as we look forward to a new century? We've, we've now been around for 100 years. We have our, our values, but what's next for the Order of the Arrow in your mind? Well, to me, I, the, the basic foundation of the Order of the Arrow is the Brotherhood of Cheerful Service. So I definitely see the focus being in the next 100 years, cheerful service. Now, exactly what form that will take, it may be a little bit different. Things we hadn't even thought of today, because who knows what the next century is going to have. What is, what is the next step uh, for the Order of the Arrow in scouting as a bigger picture? How do you think we, we, uh, we continue to work to better the scouting movement? You know, we could not have a better relationship between the, uh, the, the Boy Scouts of America and the OA. I mean, it's one and the same, but I mean, we work together with the National OA Committee uh, in furthering scouting at the unit level. It's just a great relationship. How many uh, uh, National Order of the Arrow conferences have you been to? Uh, Actually, now, after I told you a bit how long I've been in there, this is only my second conference. I was here last time and uh, this, this conference. So even, even not making it to a NOAC, you still had so many fantastic experiences. Um, it must be just so exciting for these kids that are going to get to to walk into that arena tonight. Oh, yes, and it's going to be very exciting for me. See, they're, they're, they think the show is going to be on the stage. To me, the show's out there in the arena looking at those 13,000 scouts that are here in Araman. Absolutely. Uh, what are you looking forward to most uh, during your time here at the conference? I know you're going to be here for a few more days. Oh, yes. Anything exciting planned? Well, the most exciting thing to me is just to get around into the various exhibits and meet people, to spark them. Absolutely. <laughs> to do all the fun things that are here. But it's just getting to meet people and be a, be a part of it. I got a sneak preview last night of the museum, and it's just absolutely fabulous. Oh, absolutely. There's some great, some great memorabilia in there, some great artifacts uh, from the OA's uh, you know, 100 years. Uh, now what lodge were you in as a youth? I was in the Croatan Lodge in the East Carolina Council. Yeah. Okay, and you said you served as a, a chapter chief. What else, what other uh, leadership positions did you serve in, if you remember? Yeah, I remember being a lodge vice chief. It was administration. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very exciting that, you know, now, and now you, you administer the entire Boy Scouts of America. Oh, yeah. That's, that's quite, the, <laughs> quite the jump. I can tell you, when I joined the Order of the Arrow uh, 53 years ago, I had no, no idea that I'd be where I am today. But I think Order of the Arrow helped make the man I am. No question about it. Absolutely. How, how has scouting in general shaped your, your life? You know, you're, you're the head of, a, of an organization that affects thousands and thousands of youth. How has that shaped you personally? Well, you know, one of the good things about the job that I have is that I get to see the, the, the best side of this world. I get to see the best side of people, people who just really care a lot about what they do, about the young people of this country. And so one of the things that has shaped me is just give me a positive attitude because I know the great things that are happening out there. And my father spent a year in, I mean, a career in law enforcement. He saw the other side of, of, the, of, the, of the country and I saw the, the positive side. 
that there's so much good we can do if we if we really put our minds to it. Oh, absolutely, and, and just here, if people think this country doesn't have a great future, they need to come here, see you guys. You're going to be the future leaders of this country, so we, we've got a great future. Absolutely, we might have the next president of the United States sitting then in that arena tonight. That's right. We're going to have the uh, past Secretary of Defense sitting in the arena tonight, and he. I guarantee you, when he was a Northern the Era member, he had no idea that he no would be. No idea where he would end up. That's right. That's so exciting. Um, can you tell us what message would you want the, I know you're going to speak at, at this evening's show, but what message do you want if you could give you know, a, a one thought to our airmen who are going to be at the arena, but also those at home, what message do you want them to take away from the conference, but from our centennial in general? I think our theme is, is the best message we can take. It, it starts with us. And there used to be an expression about, I think somebody ought to do something, and then one day I realized I am somebody. So it's got to start right. with us. If, if not me, who? That's right. If not now, when? It's you, Somebody has to take that first step. That's correct. All right. We'll be right back. You're watching NOAC Nightly News. NOAC 2015 is the most connected Order of the Arrow conference in history. Here with me now is Patrick Burchill, the conference vice chief for communications. Patrick, thank you for joining us. How can our brothers at home be a part of the centennial celebration? Well, we understand that um, there's a lot of interest and excitement around the conference, so we've got plenty of ways for everyone to be connected here um, with us. And uh, so one of the most easily accessible ways is through social media. So um, we're available on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram and Google Plus and we also have videos on YouTube um, and throughout the conference we'll be engaging with people both here on site and people back at home with their lodges and uh, we'll be retweeting content favoriting things and engaging with people so definitely reach out that's one of the things that they can do is follow us and uh, interact with us through the social media. Now what are the, I know there's some hashtags, what are those hashtags for this conference? Um, so the main hashtag is NOAC2015. Anything um, with that hashtag we'll be taking a look at, interacting with, and uh, probably retweeting to our followers. So if you want to get something out there to people, and we'll probably be retweeting all those things. Now I know we're still uh, working with uh, radio and the newspaper. What, how are those going to uh, you know, be used at the conference? So the uh, radio typically in the past was only available to guests, but this year we're going to be streaming the radio. So if you go to our website, noact2015.org slash radio, you'll be able to listen into everything happening within the radio booth. And we'll also be publishing all the articles that we write for our e-newsletter on the website as well. So if you go to noact2015.org, right there on the homepage, we'll have a feed of all the content um, right there. And uh, that'll be something great for people that are at home, they want to read in. Um, if they're not too much on the, you know, if they're not interested in the social media side, we've also got people that they like to read articles, they can go to our website and check out things there. Now, how can we access the uh, social media profiles? What's the, uh, what's the username on this? The username for all the social media profiles for all of them is OA Noack. Okay. Um, what uh, ways are we hoping to affect uh, Aramid at home as well as at the conference through our communications? Um, we just want to get the message of the conference out there to everyone at home. Um, we don't want it to be just an experience for our guests, but we want it to be an experience for all Aramid. We want all Aramid to be able to uh, experience excitement around the centennial. And uh, to, we want everyone to realize that it starts with us and that the next centennial will be starting with the guys both here at the conference and those at home. Absolutely, and with such a connected conference, we really have an opportunity to, to bring that theme not only to those in the Breslin Arena, but to those 
everywhere. Yes, it's really exciting. Awesome. Be sure to follow the Order of the Year on social media and online at noact2015.org. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Mike Rosenberg. I'm from Peru, Illinois. I'm here with OA Warrior, uh, which is our newest and most challenging course we believe we have out here. Uh, we have a mentally and physically challenged course out here. with some brand new inflatables with one that is 55 feet tall and 175 feet long. It's the world's largest inflatable. We also have a cliff jump out here that is 15 feet tall and a 14 foot drop. So we got a little pad down there so you can have some fun. Uh, we also have a spider mountain which has some elastic bands that'll allow you to try to escape through the spider mountain. Where we are out here is a challenge so please remember to have a lot of fun, and it's a challenge, so let's see what your best time can be. 